Hey guys welcome back my name is Stephanie if you're new here I've gotten a lot of new subscribers over the last month so I just want to do take a moment to welcome you all to my channel if I haven't already done so in the comments or if you haven't commented I just want you to know that I thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube family and I hope you enjoyed today's video today we're gonna to be doing some thrifting and I'll have a thrift haul for you at the end I did pick up some good pieces this time so make sure you stay tuned and check that out so I got a lot of cleaning to do today especially in my kitchen I'm currently washing dishes because I got a sink full as you can see while I do this I'm gonna let you guys watch my thrifting trip to Goodwill and then I'll pop back on the screen and talk to you for a few minutes once that's finished as always I like to start out over here on the dish aisle at Goodwill I thought these little glass tumblers were really pretty I like the design on it y'all know I'm a fan of the like ribbed um, glass dishware that's what I have with my Pyrex dishes I collect all the ones that have the little ribs on them I don't know if I'm describing that correctly but I think you know what I mean <laughs> they didn't really have a lot of dishes here that I was into I did find these courier and I've decorative plates um, they had the spring summer and the fall one I do have the fall one already um, I thought about picking up the spring and summer, but I really couldn't think of any way that I would want to display them. So I left them behind. I think they were $1.59, which isn't bad. Um, they didn't have the winter one. I don't think I've ever seen the winter one. I really enjoy taking you guys along with me when I go thrifting. I like hearing what you think about the pieces when you leave comments below. Um, I do collect the false craft dishes, as you know. I don't really need any more of them, but I did find this little piece here that matches the set that I collect. But I'm not really sure what this is for. Do you guys know? I'm sure somebody does. Let me know in the comments. I found these pretty dishes here. Um, they looked really vintage. It says Homer Laughlin on the back. I don't really know much about them, but I'm sure somebody will pick these up. I thought they were pretty. This was a pretty little pitcher they had here. They also had the gravy boat and I believe the creamer. Yeah, here's the creamer. I think it was $2.99. It says Creative Fine China on it. I don't really know anything about it, but I thought it was pretty. I also like this little Pyrex bowl. Um, this little dish here, this is the only one they had, and it was the Wild Rose uh, pattern. It's very pretty. I've really gotten into the blue on dishware recently, um, but I only like specific ones. <laughs> I don't like just any of them in general. There's only specific ones that I really like and would collect to put out maybe like during 4th of July and things like that. Um, I found this little brass candlestick holder. I thought it was pretty for $3.99. It's different. I don't have any like this. They also had those gold goblets. I've never seen any like those either. I thought this was a little uh, cute little measuring set. It was from Portugal. I thought that was interesting. Um, I think they were $3.99. I think is what the price tag said. And they had some different glassware here. Not really a lot to choose from. We're going to go over here and look at the pictures. Um, they usually have some different artwork to choose from. They didn't have a whole lot on this day. They've kind of cleared it out. They did have a shelf, um, like a long shelf that was just cram packed with it. You may remember seeing it in some of my thrift hauls um, or thrift videos, but they kind of have cleared it out, thankfully. I don't know if they send stuff like that to the outlets. Or what they do with it but they've gotten rid of a lot of it so it's much easier to go through now before you could hardly even even look through the shelf um there's some interesting bar stools i thought this right here would make a nice little like piece to flip you could make um maybe a little coffee station or something out of it it was only 14.99 i thought you know you could paint it maybe put some beadboard on the back of it and fix it up 
So as you can see, I really didn't get a lot from um, Goodwill that day. Sorry, I'm getting my clothes out of the drawer. But I decided to go on down to Grace and Mercy and check out what they have. Um, I thought maybe since it was the first of the year, maybe people had done some like purging of things in their home to make room for the Christmas things that they may have received. But like I told y'all in my last thrift haul, I'm being more picky about what I bring home because I don't have a lot of space and I'm tired of having to declutter all the time. <laughs> like I just love thrifting. I'm not, I don't foresee myself stopping. So let's go on down to Grace and Mercy and we'll show you what they had there. I really like thrift shopping at Grace and Mercy because they are a non-profit ministry. Um, all of their proceeds go to helping women who are struggling with something like it could be a drug or an alcohol addiction. It could be homelessness. It could be domestic violence. Um, maybe they just um, got released from being incarcerated. And maybe they just need help getting back up on their feet. Grace and Mercy provides a home for these women to live in as they put their life back together. So if you're interested in learning more about it, they do have a website. It's graceandmercy.com. So if you're ever in the area, definitely stop in and see what they have to offer. Um, it's a really big thrift store. They have all sorts of different things from furniture to dishware. Um, they have a kids section for toys and things like that. They have a lot of clothing, um, curtains, anything pretty much you could think of. They have a nice selection of. These little cups and saucers caught my eye and they actually are fault scrap dishes which I collect, but this is a different pattern. I think this is a newer pattern. Um, I really like the little saucers with the little scallops on them, but I do not need any coffee cups. And they were selling these as like little sets, two piece sets for $3. Um, if, it, if I could have just bought the saucers, I would have done that, but they wanted to sell them together. And I just have no use for the, the cups and I wouldn't have paid $3 for just a saucer. <laughs> so yeah, I passed on these. I really like collecting the little white bowls, like Milk Glass Fire King bowls. This one didn't say Fire King on the bottom. It didn't have anything on there, but I did like the little spout on the side. They had some baking dishes. Um, I like this little jar with the little tin metal, not really tin, but metal <laughs> top on it. Um, if you're needing any kind of bakeware or, you know, serving bowls, things like that, definitely check out thrift stores. You can get them very reasonably usually um, and still in great condition. I thought these little plates were so pretty with the little girl feeding the birds with the snow on the trees and on the ground. It was just so cute. And they had two of them, which they were both different. This one had a little bird bath on it. Um, I had never heard of this, this before. It looks like some sort of collector's plates. Very cute. I wouldn't really know what to do with them. They were three dollars each, but they just really they're just really sweet with the little birds and that little girl's just adorable. They have most of their more vintage dishes in the back of the store on these shelves. Um, it's on the right hand side of the store if you ever go in there in the back. I thought this was a pretty little lamp. And then I found these little pictures in this tote they had just sitting um, on a table. And I really thought it was so cute. They had a, a pink one and a blue one. That is going to be it for our Grace and Mercy shopping today. I will usually only just hit the, the spots that I like, like the dish aisle and things like that. I don't go through the whole store. I'm taking a break from cleaning so I can get some supper started. We're going to have taco soup today. And with this, I'm sure all of you know how to make taco soup. It's been around forever. But if you don't, all I did was brown some ground beef with some taco seasoning. And then I add in beans. Um, I just use whatever beans I had on hand. I add usually beef stock, but I didn't have any. So I put chicken stock in there. And I like corn in mine. So I'm using this Southwest corn with poblano and red peppers in it. A can of Rotel. I get the no salt one to cut back on sodium for Timmy. And then the other can of beans I had was white chili beans, which were great northern beans. Um, like I said, those are just what I had on hand. I just combine all of this in the pot. I add a little pepper before I put the lid on and then I just let it simmer. Um, at the end, I add in a block of cream cheese in mine. This isn't 
always in the recipes that I've seen, but this is how we like it. It makes it really creamy. And then I also add in some cheddar cheese as well. And then you can serve it up with some sour cream. It's, and you can even use like the scoops if you want to do it that way. If you don't want to eat it like as a soup, you can use the scoops. So good. All right, well, I get back to doing my laundry. I've still got probably two loads left to do. I don't know how we accumulate so many dirty clothes. I don't, you know, you feel like you don't have any clothes, but then there's always a mountain of them to wash. It really doesn't make any sense, especially when it's just my husband and I. But anyway, as I get these clothes done, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the footage that I took at the Peddler's Mall. One of the items that I found there was something that I had been looking for for a long time and I feel like I got a really good deal on it. So if you want to see what that is, be sure you stick around because it will be in my little thrift haul at the end of the video. I don't, I don't have a huge haul, but the things that I did get are really great. I really enjoy going and browsing around the Peddler's Mall. They always have new things in here. I found this crock on the very... I think it was like the first aisle as soon as I walked in and I have been looking for one of these forever. It was $25. Um, I thought it was a really good deal and I even asked you guys on Instagram to see what you thought as well. Um, it turns out it was a good deal. They have lots of older things in here like vintage signs and check out these old typewriters. I remember when I was a kid I got a typewriter once for Christmas. That's what I asked for. I used to love to type. Um, they had this old brown jug. It was 10 bucks. They have lots of old bottles and old mason jars, things like that in here. I really like the blue mason jars. I just think they're so pretty. This was some corningware. This thing looked like it was it, like brand new. <laughs> Nothing, no scratches or anything on it. It was $6. Um, I really thought this old radio was so pretty. I don't think that it works, but it would look really nice on like a bookshelf. Um, this little vintage pitcher and bowl was really pretty for $10. I liked this gold lamp. I wasn't sure if this was a good deal or not. It was $30. I'm not sure how much they go for new. It looked like it was in really good condition. Um, I'm kind of been looking for a gold floor lamp. I also really liked this basket. I thought it was very unique. This is my favorite booth here at the Peddler's Mall. It's called the Gravel Road. I think I've told you guys that um, every time that I come in here. I always find something that I like. And um, they had a few new things. Some of the old things still there. I always like this hutch that they have here. They display things on. But it is for sale. Um, I believe it was $225 if I'm not mistaken. I think I'll look at the tag here in a moment. I like this old vintage magazine rack. Um, I think that's what that is anyway. <laughs> a magazine rack. And then they had this little stand down here that they had chalk painted. That was really pretty. I Here we go. Here's the sign. Um, $250 actually. But I think it's a really pretty hutch. Would be cute in a kitchen. I liked this little stand that they had. These This little, um, I guess this is a gravy boat. Yeah, I think it's $5. But I really like the little stand that they had it sitting on. The little legs on it were really cute. I know I have quite a few of you out there who used to love to go thrift shopping. And for whatever reason, you're not able to get out and do that anymore. But I just want you to know how much I appreciate you coming along with me thrift shopping. Even if it's not physically. I try to look for things that I think other people might like as well. I liked these little apricot colored um, napkins. I think I had looked at those before when I was here and thought they were um, a pretty color. Would be really pretty for spring also. I liked this bowl. It went, looked like it would go along well with my uh, Pyrex dishes that I have and the little pitcher. Um, I like the little ridges on there, of course. And these kind of are similar to the little... Um, um, my mind is just gone. Little glasses <laughs> that we saw earlier at Goodwill. It seems like every time I come in here, they've expanded and added more booths. They had several more this time than they did the last time I was here. And it really hadn't been that long ago. I was looking at these guitars on this back wall back here. Timmy's been talking about wanting a, a guitar to play around with. Um, he can play a little bit. I just don't know anything about guitars, so I guess I'll just have to bring him in here and let him look at them and see if any of them are, you know, what he would want. 
I like this little clock that they had hanging on the wall. It was, I believe, three fifty. dollars Yeah. Um, I don't know. It just looks kind of vintage. I like the color of it. Not sure what I would do with it, so I didn't pick it up, but I thought it was cute. This booth here had a ton of the old mason jars with the metal lids. The You know, the old gray metal lids from the old days. I really love those blue ones, aren't they? They're just the prettiest color blue. And then this booth had some discount Target merchandise. They had the hearth and hand two-tiered serving tray here. These little baskets. Um, they were $9.99, which I thought was a good deal for the Threshold brand. Not sure how much they were originally, but I'm sure they were a lot more than $9.99. I also found this mirror for $18. I'm sure this goes for way more than that. It's the Studio McGee mirror and it's actually like a leather around it at first i thought it was wood but when i felt of it it was leather i liked these fire king bowls here the smaller one i believe was five and then the bigger one was eight i was very tempted with these but i didn't pick them up left them behind i already have enough bowls i don't really need any more so this is going to conclude our shopping at peddler's mall today we found, saw a lot of really cool stuff i think um but i did restrained myself and only picked up a couple of things one thing that i've been looking for for the longest time is a, a big crock um, i see a lot of people using these in their homes um, this one has the crown on the front like i didn't know anything about them i just like the way they look so i have learned that these are you know pretty collectible um, the ones with the crown on them and this one has a two so that means it's a two gallon i'm told and I had asked you guys on Instagram if you thought this was a good price for it. Most people said yes. It was $25, which is a lot. Like, I don't usually spend that much at a thrift store on anything. But I know that this is was worth it. Cause I, most of you guys said that it was. And a few people said no. But when I come home and I Googled it, um, these were going for a lot more than $25. So I think it was a good deal. And I don't plan on reselling it anyway. I want it to use and display in my home. I see a lot of people putting like um, wooden rolling pins in them. Um, at Christmas, people put Christmas, little Christmas trees in it and it's so cute. Lots of things that you can do with these. And this is a substantial size. It's kind of heavy. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in it yet. I haven't decided if I wanna do rolling pins or what I wanna do, but I'm just really excited that I finally found one of these. Usually they're really expensive. Um, like at flea markets or especially antique stores, they can go for a lot more than $25. One girl who does a lot of collecting vintage stuff said that she didn't think that price was right or something like that, like because it was a good price. So very happy to have found this. Another one of my favorite things that I found, I found some good stuff y'all, um, is this, wait for it, take a guess, basket. <laughs> Um, to be honest with you guys, I've gotten rid of a lot of my baskets that I don't use and I had in storage. So pretty much the only ones I have left are my bigger ones that I would put plants in and the ones that I have, well, those, I took these, I took them down off the wall back here, but I still have baskets hanging in my hallway. So I still have those, but this one, um, I found at the Peddler's Mall and I, I had never seen one like this before. I love the shape of it. It's got this little, um, what do you call this? I don't know. <laughs> like a little stand or something here a little base the little base here at the bottom um, I like that and then I like the texture here on the rim I just thought it was really pretty and it would be perfect to put a plant in now a little life update um, I've had to give almost all well all of my house plants except for this pothos that I have up here on top of my hutch I've had to give all my house plants to my mom which she doesn't mind but y'all know I love my house plants but Remy will not leave them alone none of them like he messes with all of them this one up here he doesn't because he doesn't you know climb up there on the hutch at all so my solution is that i've picked up a couple of faux house plants that look pretty real i found this one at target recently um this one is like a pothos plant and i think it looks pretty realistic i would much rather have a real one <laughs> but i love my cat y'all so gotta do what you gotta do 
So I got this one and I thought this would be perfect in, I don't know if I said it or not, but the, I got this at Target. Target usually has some pretty realistic looking house plants. They are a little pricey. This one was pricey, but you know, it'll last me forever. So I picked it up. I gotta have some greenery in my kitchen. I just have to. And so I gave $5 for the basket at the Peddler's Mall and the plant from Target was actually $20. So I don't know. Let me know, what do you think? Is $20 a good price for a plant? It is a good size, like it's a pretty good size plant. Another thing I picked up at Peddler's Mall was this little batch of napkins. And they really match those flowers that I keep in the basket on my pantry door. I don't know if you remember those or not, but I thought I could use a couple of these on my hutch, you know, just to tuck in and uh, for just a pop of color for spring. I think it'll be really pretty. It's just a really pretty color. I'm not sure it's picking up like right on camera. These were $4. It says apricot. Maybe that's a better descriptive color apricot yeah <laughs> i'm not great with describing things um and this i picked up at grace and mercy tags not on the bottom of it i believe i gave five dollars for this i just thought it was so cute i don't know if you guys remember but i usually collect um like glassware that has this design on it it's like um just like a ribbed is that what you call it ribbed i don't know <laughs> these little ridges on them but i collect the pyrex dishes that are like this and i've gotten them um from most of mine from goodwill i don't know i just thought it was the cutest little picture um the little lid comes off and it turns so that you know nothing's gonna spill out of it and it comes off but um timmy said what are you gonna put in that because that's about the size of a glass <laughs> and i was like okay i see i hear you but i don't know so maybe i could put like creamer or something in it because you can turn it to where you know air's not getting any in it or it's not going to spill or anything what do you guys think is that a good idea i can see it like with lemonade in it or i don't know just anything it's orange juice it's, i just think it's cute <laughs> and it's got a little handle here they had another one with like a blue top it's just cute I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, but it's cute. And then I got this little bowl here. Um, this came from Goodwill. It says Homer Laughlin Best China on the back. This was, it was less than a dollar. I'm thinking like 60 something cents if I'm not mistaken. But I just thought it was a nice little bowl for cereal or something like that. And then the last thing that I bought was actually a bag. It's a 31 bag. I don't know if you're familiar with that brand or not. I've never had anything from them before, but I was telling you guys on Instagram that my leather bag that I packed, the zipper broke on it, and it's just starting to get wear and tear, and I really wanted something lightweight that I could pack around with me, like to thrift stores and places like that, put my camera in, um, and wouldn't be too heavy. My leather one was pretty heavy. Um, so I picked this one up. It's lightweight. It's like a dark purple. I don't know if you'd call it like a eggplant or a plum or <laughs> what color it is it's hard to it's hard to get it to pick up right on camera but it has a snap pocket back here it's really deep and then it also has um a pocket a zipper pocket on the inside with two little pockets and that's what it looks like inside there i'm already using it and packing it and then it has a deep zipper pocket on this side and this is it has the strap here but it also has a long strap so it's a crossbody and that's what i like to pack as crossbody purses i don't like like packing a purse on my shoulder it always makes my shoulder hurt and um i don't i just don't like carrying it around plus i'm absent-minded and i'm afraid i'll set it down somewhere <laughs> and forget it um so this works great for me I'm really happy with it and i I don't remember how much I gave for it. I'm thinking it was like eight dollars, maybe. It, which is not bad, cause it it looked like it was brand new. I don't know. <laughs> you guys might remember that I told you I brought, I got in the car with it and I stuck my hand down in the pockets because I don't. You know, if you get a bag at a thrift store or a jacket or anything, you always check the pockets, and make sure there's nothing in there. Well, I was sitting in the in the car i stuck my hand down i was parked in the parking lot so wasn't driving or anything stuck my hand down in there and felt something crawling <sighs> i thought it was a spider i slung the purse up into the dash of the car and was like oh no uh-uh 
nope <laughs> but i sat there for a minute and i was like okay let me just let me see what it is so i pulled it down and looked in there and it was a dang stink bug a lot of you told me on instagram that y'all are having trouble still with stink bugs i don't know how these things are surviving the winter below zero temperatures but i set it free like back into the wall so i did stick some rolling pins in here for now until i figure out what else i want to do with them so this basket i'm sitting right here beside my hutch on this little stool i just think it's cute there remy wants to bat at it every now and then and in case you're wondering what's going on right here <laughs> so i'm thinking about taking my board and batten on down past my hutch in my kitchen um i just don't like it ending right here at this window it just kind of looks weird to me so i'm gonna carry it on down past my hutch and i'm gonna hang some curtains up here also i've been meaning to do that but i have to get a curtain rod all right so don't mind all of this i've been moving things around playing with stuff trying to figure out how i want it after christmas but um i'm gonna bring it on down here and honestly i really would like some sort of separation between my kitchen and living room i thought about just going down to this window frame but i know i don't like it ending right there in the hallway it just bugs me but if i take it on down like all the way down this wall um it's gonna run right into like a light switch and that's gonna be a real pain trying to work around um like the top board is gonna be right where the light switch is i don't know that sounds complicated and i don't like complicated <laughs> don't mind my mess i got a whole mess to clean up here but Another project that I want to do pretty soon is a makeover on my island here. So you can see this is just a basic cabinet I've had forever. I had somebody ask me about this. Uh, it's not very deep. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not that deep of a cabinet, um, which is good because I don't have a lot of space here. Um, but I'm thinking about going in and putting beadboard down the sides and the back and then like framing it out. I've thought about putting like legs right here, a leg down through here, like a real pretty one um, on each end. I haven't decided on that for sure yet, so don't hold me to it. <laughs> but I wanna take this off. I'm really, I'm not really into that anymore. That's more like the modern farmhouse vibe, I think. And I'm more into like pegboards. So I would really love to put a pegboard there, but I'm still gonna have the issue of Remy not leaving it alone <laughs> so i don't know maybe he'll get better about that we'll see i might still just put a pegboard there anyway just because i like the way it looks am i saying that right pegboard peg it's not a pegboard is it i don't you know the little thing with the pegs peg rail that might be better peg rail i'm gonna put a peg rail there um so beadboard frame it out and a peg rail and i really want to get a butcher block countertop that matches my other countertop where my sink is y'all if y'all may remember my brother built this one for me that's here and it's great it's worked great he did a wonderful job i just really want a butcher block one this one is kind of thin and let me show you the, I didn't get the right kind of wood when I, I bought the wood for him to build it with and I didn't get the right thing and I bought two of them and you can see he had to put it together here in the middle and it's not centered or anything so it's kind of like I worry about Timmy putting his weight on that. I do have some supports under here my brother put on here for me but it's still you can see it moving right. So I really think it would be smart to go ahead and put the butcher block on there and maybe like I said put those legs on there. I think that might be really pretty guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that's a good plan or do you have a better plan? <laughs> Let me know what it is. Good morning little girl. Good morning. Good morning Timmy. Good morning Stephanie. How's it going? Wonderful. What Every you... morning is beautiful when you wake up to see it. Ain't it? That's uh -huh. right. That's true. What, uh, what are you going to sing for us today? Let's do a uh... Uh, what's the name of that song? Um, never been this homesick before. Well, there's a light in the window, table set in splendor, someone standing by the open door. I can see the crystal river. It must be near forever, never 
never been this homesick before. When I see the bright light shine, it's just about a home time. Where now I see the Father standing by the door. This world has been a wilderness, and I'm ready for deliverance. Well, Lord, I've never been this homesick before. Lord, I've never been this homesick before. Oh. Yeah, good job. Never been this homesick. And I always know that if you're not happy with your home here, just be prepared that one day you'll have a home in heaven if you accept Jesus as your Savior. Amen. Perfect home. Perfect home. Mm -hmm. Amen. I hope you enjoyed the song today. As uh, I'm sure you sang along. So come on back next Sunday. We'll do it all again. All right. Say bye bye. Say bye. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Make sweet little belly. Yeah. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed going thrifting with me. I didn't pick up a lot of things, but let me know in the comments what was your favorite. And also, if you've been out thrifting recently and found something great, let me know what that was as well. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!